Hi everyone, this is Ram Krishna. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss AP Set 2018 Complex Analysis, question number 27 from paper 2. And the question is residue of sine 2z by z plus 1 whole cube at z is equal to minus 1 equals to dash. And the four options are option number 1, 2 sine 2, option number 2 sine 2, option number 3 minus 2 sine 2, option number 4 minus sine 2. So we have to choose one correct option from this 4. And here the question is about uh, residue. So this is regarding uh, poles of order M. So first we recall some result that is uh, if f of z has a pole of order M at z is equal to z0 then the residue at z is equal to z0 is given by residue of f of z at z is equal to z0 is equal to 1 by m minus 1 factorial into limit z tends to z0 d power m minus 1 by dz to the power m minus 1 of z minus z0 whole to the power m into f of z and here f of z is an analytic function and it has a pole of order m at z is equal to z0 then the residue of f at the point z is equal to z0 is given by the formula 1 by m minus 1 factorial into limit z tends to z0 d power m minus 1 by dz to the power m minus 1 that means derivative of z to the power sorry z minus z0 whole to the power m into f of z so this is an important formula so we will use this formula to solve the given question so now coming to the solution here f of z is equal to function is sine 2z by z plus 1 whole cube so sine 2z by z plus 1 whole cube and note that the poles of f of z are given by by equating the denominator equal to 0 and here clearly f of z is equal to sine 2z by z plus 1 whole cube which is an analytic function so therefore the poles of f of z are given by given by by equating the denominator that is z plus 1 is equal to 0 okay from this we get z is equal to minus 1 comma minus 1 comma minus 1 so therefore z is equal to minus 1 is a pole of order because here z is equal to minus 1 repeated 3 times so it is a pole of order 3 ok now we have to find the residue of f of z at uh, this pole z is equal to minus 1 so therefore residue of f of z at z is equal to minus 1 which is given by the formula 1 by here m is equal to 3 so substituting m is equal to 3 in the above formula we get 3 minus 1 factorial into limit z tends to z0 means minus 1 d power 3 minus 1 by dz to the power 3 minus 1 of z minus z0 z0 is minus 1 so minus of minus plus 1 m value is 3 into f of z here f of z is equal to sin 2z by z plus 1 whole cube here z plus 1 whole cube z plus 1 whole cube will be gets cancelled so it remains with 1 by 2 factorial means that value is equal to 2 limit z tends to minus 1 this is d square by dz square of your sin 2z so second derivative of sin 2z since here derivative of sin 2z first derivative which is given by this is 2 cos 2z and similarly second derivative of this function that is d square by so this is d by dz d square by dz square of sin 2z which is given by so derivative of this function with respect to z that is 2 into cos 2z so 2 into cos 2z derivative is minus sin 2z into 2 
सो माइनस साइन टू जेड इंटू टू सो दिस इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर साइन टू जेड सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ डी स्क्वेयर बाय डी जेड स्क्वेयर ऑफ साइन टू जेड सो वी हैव वन बाय टू इंटू लिमिट जेड टेंस टू माइनस वन सो सेकेंड डेरिवेटिव ऑफ साइन टू जेड इज माइनस फोर साइन टू जेड सो दिस इज माइनस फोर साइन टू जेड नाउ सब शूटिंग जेड वैल्यू जेड टेंस टू माइनस वन सो वी गेट वन बाय टू इंटू दिस इज माइनस फोर इंटू साइन टू इंटू माइनस वन सो दिस इज माइनस ऑफ माइनस प्लस Here one two and two will be cancelled. This is two sine two. Okay, so that means uh, our option number one is correct. Okay, is it clear? I hope you like this video. If you like the video, please share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.